Hi everybody, it's Derek from 9 d Diagnostics. Um, if you haven't liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel, do so now, uh, really help us out. So what do we have in today? Well, we've got an Audi A3, um, customers complaining, um, engine management light is on on this car and the EPC light is on also, and it's lacking in power. Um, it's in limpo mode. So there's something going on. Uh, we're gonna take it over, we're gonna read the fault codes that are there, and then from there we're gonna go and uh, diagnose the problem and see exactly what's going on with this car. Right, so let's go over and um, see what fault codes are showing up. Okay, so we're going to do a full diagnostic scan of all the systems on this car. We've already selected what car it is, and it's going to scan everything. We just want to see what fault codes are showing up everywhere. Um, now, on this particular car, when you have an engine management light on, it will put a fault code in the EPC system. Um, it'll normally disable it um, for traction control purposes. Okay, so two faults showing up. One under engine management and one under central electronic system. Okay, so let's go fault details. Okay, accelerator pedal position sensor two, signal two low. Okay, well that's the, that's the one I'm, um, I'm gonna target in on um, straight away. We'll see what shows up on central electronics. Uh, light switch signal and probable. Okay, they're not, I'm not concerned about them. So let's go straight into the full code on the engine management. Sometimes it gives a little bit more information when you go in, it'll, it'll tell you when it logged the full code and so forth. Um, this, I don't think it's going to, let's double click. I think it'll just bring us to the troubleshooting page. Nothing. Okay, no, it's not giving us anything there. So uh, what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna have a look um, we're going to go into uh, troubleshooting up here. I'm going to have a look at the accelerator uh, position sensor on to and see what it's exactly doing. Is, is the ECU getting a signal or, or isn't it? And I'll just explain to you a little bit how the system works. Okay. Okay, so what is the, the throttle system on the car and how does it work? Well, on, on the older models, the ba basically how it worked was there was a, a cable that ran from your accelerator pedal up to your throttle body and your engine and it operated according to how much um, um, petrol or how fast you wanted to go and um, got injected into the engine or what air supply it let in. So the new systems, what they've done now is, is that they've run a what's called a flyby wire system where the car basically is like the airplanes. There's no connection between the throttle body um, and the accelerator pedal. The accelerator pedal will send a signal to the ECU and then the ECU will then send a signal to the throttle body and command the throttle body to open according to what um, the driver has inputted in. Now, they need a safety system in it because if it's the fail in its fully open position, as in, uh, you know, pedal to the metal, and it's fully open and it fails in that position and it doesn't get the command to close, it's going to stay open and you don't want that. So it has a two track system um, where two signals come out of it, they're a little bit offset um, and they send a signal back to the ECU. So if it loses either one of them, it still has the second one. As a, as a backup, um, and that's where then the car will go into limpo mode and log a fault code. So basically what you have here is you have track one and you've track two, and this is your, your signal here being sent. And as you push your accelerator pedal going up, it can see um, the difference between the two of them. So if it fails on track two here, it can still see track one as your pedal, accelerator pedal moves up and down. But it'll obviously log the fault code with track two, and, um, that's what we have in here at the moment. So we're gonna go have a look at um, both of these systems, track one and track two. Um, they're normally a six pin wire, so you've got two lives, two hertz, and two signals. So we're gonna go and uh, check all of them and see what we get back, okay? So let's have a look. Okay, we wanna start off with the uh, accelerator pedal position sensor, sensor one. We know this one is working because it hasn't logged the fault code. And straight away as we go in, we can see here uh, it's 15%. Uh, ignition engine switched off, uh, ignition on, uh, pedal, accelerator pedal not actuated. So the tolerance is between 10 and 20%. We're reading 15. Um, so let's move over now to the what it should be when the accelerator pedal is pressed, what the value should be. So the value should be between 70 and 90%. Okay, let's see what it is when we fully press the pedal down. Okay, pedal to the floor. Oh. Pedal to the floor. Okay, it's reading 80%, so it's in its tolerance, so that's what we should be getting. So what we're gonna do is now, we're gonna go in and look at the actual uh, sensor two and see what um, 
see what these readings are. Um, I have a feeling they're probably going to read zero, but let's go in and have a look at what's going on. Okay, so we're in sensor two. This is the one that logged the fault code. Uh, tolerance should be between five and 15% when it's not actuated. So when the, your, if your foot is off the pedal and we're reading 0%. So it's obviously in red, there's an issue. It's not inside its tolerances. And let's see what um, the range should be um, when the pedal is checked. Now, as you can see, there's a difference between 35 and 49%. And that's where that two track system comes in. So it knows. Okay, so pedal to the floor, pedal down, still reading 0%, off, on, Okay, so we're not getting any signal coming out of the, the, the sensor two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull a word diagram just to see which words um, sensor one and sensor two is and see what uh, reading we're getting coming out of them. So let's get a word diagram and take a look. Okay, so we have a word diagram of our um, accelerator pedal or our engine management. Um, this is our engine ECU here. And this here that's underlined in blue is our uh, throttle um, our throttle pedal. So as you can see, we have got uh, six words. Um, we've got alive here, signal here, an earth here, alive here, a signal and an earth. So again, as I said, two lives, and two earths and two signals. So pin four is a signal and pin six is a signal. So what we need to distinguish is which one of these um, is track one and track two. We'll be able to distinguish that fairly quickly by uh, scoping it. Um, and we look, we'll probably scope it first before we start doing lives and um, earths on it. And um, it would log a different fault code if, if it was getting that. So we reckon that there's not a signal coming out. It is a problem in the throttle uh, pedal itself, um, or there's an issue uh, in the wiring um, either down at the throttle pedal or going up to the ECU or possibly in the ECU. But we'll start down here first. This is the easiest place to go for. Um, throttle bodies do, or sorry, throttle pedals do give issue. So uh, let's go and uh, we'll, we'll scope it and have a look. Okay, so we're in pin four on a connector. It's a bit difficult to get the camera in there. So we're in the, the signal where, this is the one that's working on track one. Um, and we're going to go up to our oscilloscope. There we go. Ignition on. And we're gonna accelerate full to the floor. And as you can see there, it moves up. It gets up to 4.3 volts and off and on and off. So now we're gonna check pin six, which is track two, and we'll see, and um, we should be seeing this exact same signal as it goes from um, roughly 1.1 volts up to 4.3 volts. Okay, so let's go and have a look. Okay, so we're on uh, pin six, and then on the signal, and then to, to live on the, the second wire of the oscilloscope. And then we go have a look at our reading. So as you can see just down here, it's given a, a voltage reading in blue. It's a bit difficult to see. It's down near zero. Um, and then this is our signal. So accelerator to the floor. Voltage doesn't change, or the, the signal coming out. We don't get any sort of a, a change like we did last time. Off, back on back off okay so there's no signal coming out of track two on the accelerator pedal so we can straight away rule out there's any issue with the ecu and um, now look we can't rule out any lives and earths but i don't think there's a problem with any lives and earth we can check the lives and earth on that track but what i'm going to have a look at i'm going to disconnect the uh, sensor i'm going to have a look at the pins just to make sure there's no issues we can check lives and earths on that track uh, two and um, if they are as they should be, well then we have a problem with the uh, accelerator pedal itself, okay? Okay, so we're into our live wire. Um, ignition on, we should have around five volts. There we go, ignition on, we've got 4.97 volts. So we know our live feed going down to uh, track two is working. We'll check our earth now. Um, and we, we should be getting, we're going to go from uh, ground to ground, we should be getting uh, zero on the reading. So let's go and check that as well. Okay, we're on our ground war on um, track two. So ignition on, 
um, is zero volts, it should be zero volts all the time, um, is what we're getting. So we're going from, from inert to inert, so it should be reading uh, zero voltage drop check. So um, look, our live inert down to track uh, two is fine. We've no signal coming out. Um, last thing to check is just the actual uh, wiring on it and see um, what it's like. Uh, we could have an issue with the um, with the pins, we'll have a look. If that's all fine, well then we'll be condemning the uh, the accelerator pedal, okay. Okay, so as you see there with the check um, that we've done, um, I confirmed a problem. We do not have a signal coming out of track two on the accelerator pedal. Um, so we confirmed that uh, through our oscilloscope reading and then we also checked our lives and earths going down. Now we also did check the, the, um, the electrical connection for any damage or any, any pins broken. Um, there wasn't, so we're, we're, we're we're fairly confident, 99.9% .9 that the issue is with the accelerator pedal. So we've a new one ordered, um, hopefully should be here pretty soon. Um, they're a little bit awkward to fit. Um, that's a video for another, another day. So we're gonna fit the new one in and uh, then go back into the system and delete the error code. Sometimes the error code will come out on its own, but it's always as well to go back in yourself and delete it. So as um, soon as the pedal's in, we'll go and do that and then sign off in this video, okay. Okay, so there we have the new accelerator uh, pedal fitted in. We just removed some of the components here just to get in at it a little bit easier. They're, they're just awkward to do. So let's go and back into um, engine management and um, delete the fault code. And this should come straight out of it. Okay, no errors. We'll run the engine. Okay, she's working perfectly there. We'll just go back in and make sure that the uh, error code has gone. No error codes, so um, this issue has been fixed for the customer. Problem with the throttle body. Um, so they should, be, they should be happy with that. Okay, so you've seen there, the issue was actually with the accelerator pedal. Now, that's not always the case. It can be a problem with the wiring or even with the ECU. Um, so, you do need to do these checks to confirm it 100% rather than throwing parts at it because they're not easy, you know, they're, they're not cheap, a little bit awkward to do. And if you get it wrong, well then you're back to square one or trying to figure out what's going on. So look, you need an oscilloscope to do it. Um, and you really do need a word diagram. So I hope you liked this video. Hope to help you out. Um, give us a thumbs up and a like and uh, subscribe to the uh, 9D uh, Diagnostics YouTube channel. And uh, we'll catch you again on the next video. Okay, have a good one.